I'm talking about waking up the God inside of you. I'm talking about when we, our people are put in situations of adversity, that's when we shine the best. Under pressure, that's when we turn into black diamonds. God, hip hop is real. In association with Kid Life Productions, we still here in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Post Black Power event. Today I got a chance to enjoy a dope Pharrell lecture today, man. My first one. He was putting it down. The youth was in the building. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, how do you feel about the whole weekend, you know, starting with the Black Power, and you got to, uh, you know, give uh, an award out and everything like that. So, you know, just give a little, you know, a little background on how you enjoyed the weekend. Uh, I mean, I want to appreciate the love, man. First of all, I appreciate you, appreciate you for coming out to the lecture because, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to the people who attend because I can't be me if, if y'all don't allow me to express myself. So, with that being said, man, much love. Uh, the lecture today was phenomenal. You know, one of the most powerful presentations I've ever gave. Uh, Spirit Science, Introduction to Your Higher Self. So with that being said, man, that lecture right there raised the frequency of all people. Mm -hmm. Everybody that was in the building, man, have a full understanding on the soul, what your soul is, how it affects you, how to heal your soul. Man, it was straight Spirit Science in the building. And you get you had a surprise, man. You brought out a guest. Something I think you you said you, this was your first time doing something right. like that. That's right. Yeah. I brought out a goddess named uh, Anastasia. She gave her information out uh, at the lecture. It's in there. You'll see it in the video when I post it. I can't get it off cap. But, yeah, man, she does uh, people's, she deals with astrology and natal charts professionally. So, you know, I had also, as a part of my PowerPoint presentation, astrology and the chakras, how your body actually commutes solar energy from the planets, how you download solar prominences, etc. That was dope. So right. That was dope. So, for her, <laughs> I had her come out and actually give you an example of my personal natal chart she did and show where my planetary houses was and show how I have the characteristics exactly that I express. And I also had her put up other people's, uh, where well she also put up other examples of people's natal charts. And, you know, she's the truth. So she's not going to do your, uh, you know, gotta, you got a lot of bullshitters out here that do your astrology chart and tell you all your houses in this planet, but they can't go into detail. She got it to the point where we almost going into the future. We can almost tell you what to expect in life, mm -hmm. not just what you've been through. So it was very powerful. When I look at that, though, um, you know, and they say, you know, the calendars are off and things like that. With Like, how do you, like, uh, measure this and still have it being accurate? You know what I'm saying? In you regards know? to the dates? Yeah, the to, to the, oh, to the, yeah, to the dates. Because you look at December and, you know, that's a Sagittarius. But, you know, when you go back, some of the months is not even supposed to be that long. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So how do you still are you able to see what zodiac sign you're in and things like that? Correct. Uh, as I put this in my uh, presentation today I gave, uh, it was, the slide was called the Cosmic Calendar. What you have to understand is everything is mathematic in degrees. A day is only a degree. Okay. So it takes 90 days, aka 90 degrees, for it to be a new season. So there is actually only 360 days a year, aka 360 degrees in a circle. Mm -hmm. And every 90 days you get a new season. Mm -hmm. So the Gregorian calendar, all the 28 days, 30 days, 31 days, these are all fictitious uh, constructs which the European used to throw you off of your solar clock. When you're dealing with a natural calendar, you do everything by degrees, which is 30 to 90 day intervals, aka, you know, low succession periods. Okay. So when we're talking about how do we know what day it is, you measure how far you are on a, on a planetary scale, how you know what day it is, how far you are around the sun. Okay. So with that being said, uh, I mean, how far you are around the monthly zodiac on the sun. Okay. So we'll know it's, let's say, the third. Because let's say if we was living, if we was going to, according to the original calendar, it's only 30 days in this month. Mm -hmm. So we would know by being able to pinpoint where the stars are that we're three degrees around this this uh, this zodiac. Okay. So we know, like, let's say if Mars is right here, or let's say I mean not Mars, if Aries is right here on day one, day two it's right here, day three is right here, day four is right here. But we measure the days in degrees. Okay. So if we get to day 90, we know Aries is over there. Okay, okay. So okay. it's all about mathematical calculation. Uh, which I'm going to call it science, math, and astrology is all you need. Mm -hmm. So when we're dealing with measurements, measurements, as I tell you about the time, people think degrees is the weather. Degrees is not the weather. Degrees is the angle that the sun is yeah. from you. So if it's 90 degrees outside, that means the sun is directly above your head. So you're getting a certain mm -hmm. spectrum of light. So once the sun goes 32 degrees outside of its angular position to you, temperature changes because you're getting underneath the spectrum of light which produces heat. So the sun has to be emitting on you a certain degree for you to get a temperature. That's why it, yeah, this is why it's important where you are on the planet Earth because depending upon your geographical location, 
determines what form of sunlight you get. Mm. So this is why you got some places on the planet Earth where things only grow a certain size because it only gets a certain spectrum of light. Or the Arctic and things like that. Right. It's always cold or something like exactly, that. Exactly, because it never gets a 90 degree spectrum of light. Mm. But this light also determines the biological, physical uh, features of an organism. Um, just saying that made me think, right? Um, when you look at all the Caribbeans and all the warm places in Africa and everything like that, they're always in a 90 degree or 100 degree, you know, type of weather. Why do you think that is? They're closer to the equator. Okay, okay. Anything closer to the equator would be hotter because the sun shines on it more. The sun is always the sun is always at an angle, like you said. That's at least eighty degrees and up. Mm -hmm. You got uh, what you call it? The equator makes you actually more biologically powerful. Okay. Because you're exposed to more um, more electromagnetic, more of the electromagnetic spectrum of the sun than normal. So we know that when you cold, even in the winter time, no matter, even if you, you don't gotta live in Antarctica, you might live in a city where it's snow. Everybody know you walk colder when you walk slower when it's cold. You're more squunched up. You're less prone to be physically active. Nobody just want to be outside at negative ten degrees standing there. Mm. So it makes you actually, uh, what you call it? It lowers your spiritual frequency. It lowers your will. You don't want to be outside. You don't want to be active. Same thing with nature. When the winter time comes, all light stops. Mm -hmm. Then when it goes away in the summertime, come everything grows. Mm -hmm. And black people know this personally. We come out in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Don't call me outside in December. But if it's August, I'm coming at two in the morning. I just need a reason. What y'all doing? Sitting on the porch, y'all go, cause it's it's hot. So heat actually, uh, what you call it? Just like when we dealing with physics, the more um, heat you put, you produce on an object, it can either go from a, a solid, liquid, or a gas. But all that is is just the space in the molecules. So the less heat or the less sunlight that penetrates the atom of an object, it becomes, the um, atoms become more combusted, it becomes a solid. And if an if a intermediate amount is striking an object, it becomes a liquid, which is in the middle of a solid or a gas. Mm -hmm. But if, 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 if an excessive amount of light hits an object, the molecules become so spaced out that it's no longer physically composed and it becomes a gas. So it just proves that heat makes molecules more active. It makes everything move around so much to the point that some things actually evaporate. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing with us. We become more energetically expressive in the heat. So mm. we're talking about living uh, close to the equator. The equator makes you more powerful. It makes you manifest uh, more of yourself because you're more act active willfully mm. than unwillfully. So in the sense that heat kind of creates an expansion? Of reality. You okay, say. okay. Correct. Um, looking at, you know, sitting back and just, you know, looking at the people in your lecture and just, you know, seeing how you give pieces of your real life, you know, you give, you share a lot with the people and the people really love that side of you. What makes it, you know, why do you do that, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to teaching and why is that important? Because I like to let the people know I'm not nowhere you can't be. I ain't say I was your God, I mm -hmm. said I'm my own God mm -hmm. and you need to become your own God. But a lot of people need help because we live in a world where the ego rules, or has ruled, you can say, until now. But black people, you know, you got a lot of people when they come to teaching, they want to be the worship me guy okay. instead of the teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to be the worship me guy, I'm here to be the teacher. So I let people know, I go through the same stuff you go through mm -hmm. and went through. So it's no excuse for you because it was no excuse for me. You know, so if I tell you a story about, if I use a, a, a prison uh, experience, to relate to my PowerPoint, everybody laugh. It just goes to show you, people got sons in prison. Mm -hmm. So that don't mean your son can't come out great, you know? So That's we right. wanna break stereotypes because you got a lot of brothers. Uh, Red Pill just made the point. You know, people take 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 residents of their slavery act like Christians. You know, people in this punk ass, fake ass conscious community <laughs> always wanna act uppity and act so politically correct and act like you gotta be a certain way to elevate and be a guy and that discourages people, you know? Because you tell them what you're saying is, if I just shot somebody and I was in the gang and I really want to change my life, I'm not acceptable because I don't fit your funky ass standards. I so you got, you know, lower class blacks, middle class blacks and celebrities. It's like now I'm seeing it's the same shit in this funky ass conscious community. You got the lower class consciousness, mm -hmm. then you got the fake ass middle upper class niggas. And them the worst ones. So <laughs> young girl let you know I'm a, that goes in the garbage with me because I can exceed you and still have a relationship with who you consider to be a lower class black person. So I relate to the people always, I'm going to always relate to the people because I want them to know you can come up out of this, period. When they go through the situation, they say, damn, Young Pharaoh went through this, but that motherfucker's a genius. Yeah. So it's, I can do it. I don't want them feeling like, well, I'm wrong for going through this and you know nobody can relate to me and shame on me. I don't want you being depressed. No, 
let you know it ain't our fault. A lot of our circumstances in life we did not create. I didn't ask for the white man to put fluoride in my shit. Mm -hmm. I just came into this world and there was fluoride in the goddamn water. So I'm here to let people know, you know, shit, I drunk it at one point in time just like you. Yeah. But we gotta stop. I ain't gonna act like I came out the womb never drinking no goddamn fluoride. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody came out the womb not exposed to oppression. So I let people know I, I was exposed to oppression and I am not no longer and you can also not be too. Um, how do you feel about uh, yesterday's Black Power Wars and how it went down and everything like that? Um, I think that the Black Power Wars is a great event to a certain extent because it makes people want to be active. Okay. And I believe that a lot of people who got awards did deserve them, okay. such as Jewel Pulver. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm only speaking on mine in the category I, I present. I don't care about no other category. Okay, okay. When it comes to science and technology, I think the perfect person got the award. Okay. Period. Because I deal with science and technology and I know that Joe Pookham is right and exact. Okay. But I will say this. The only way I will ever disagree with the Black Power Awards is if we let it get corny. Okay. Like I think for the first time around it did great. But if next year niggas who don't put no work in start getting nominated and, and it just become a if you win the loop and you a friend you get an award, don't call okay. me for shit. Because okay. I'm not coming. Yeah, Unless yeah. I come do a Kanye. <laughs> I come do a 50 cent on that bitch. Hey, wow, 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 let him know what's real. I walk up on the motherfucker. Because <laughs> nah, Jay know. know next year, y'all know, I respect the first one. Second one, I need to be nominated for five awards. If I'm not nominated for at least three awards, I don't know what y'all doing. I need something as nice as technology. I need something for rookie of the year. Mm -hmm. I need something for, uh, I need something for something. How about that? How'd you get that call though, Farrell? You know what I'm saying? I see but, you got up in there, now you you up in the, you know what I'm saying? How you, well, who gave you that call? How'd that come about? For the Black Power? Yeah. Your brother DJ actually uh, asked me to be a part of it. Oh, that's dope. I said, damn right. I will, you know, I support anything that's black, I'm gonna support it. I don't hate. I'm gonna support it. But like I said, if it gets cheesy, don't call me. I liked it though. I ain't shitting on it. I liked it. It went, I think it went beautiful. But all I'm saying is keep the integrity. Because I'm not talking about, you know, Brother DJ. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, you know how shit go on. Yeah, yeah. Shit get to go on every three, four years from now. Black Power Wars, you got this nigga. Well, don't nobody even know this nigga. Yeah, yeah, he ain't yeah, got yeah. no YouTube, no Facebook. This nigga getting an award. Fuck is you. So let's get the real, you know. We got the L. We got a lot of the elders out the way who deserve the awards. We got Info DC, mm -hmm. Jewel Pilgrim. I can go on. Preston mm -hmm. Smalls. You know, people who've been here who... I don't expect me to skip them. Uh, I think uh, Carruthers. Yeah, right, correct. A lot of people who yeah. deserve an award. They've been out here for years. Yeah. Not days, but now let's get to the award now, baby. Mm -hmm. All right, we got that. We salute to our elders. Next year, Young Pharaoh is expecting <laughs> three awards. Respect <laughs> my shit, all right? In one year, I have done what motherfuckers could not do in 20. No, no, you came up hard, need, bro. That's right. I need nah, my shit. Fact, but don't call saying? my shit. Don't call it. Respect it. <laughs> Respect on my name. Matter of fact, let the people vote. Put me up for every category and tell the people to choose. I bet I win every motherfucking category. If not, I do a Kanye dab. The, uh, the conscious community, you know what I'm saying, it's always a lot of, you know, back and forth, a lot of debates and everything like that. You about to go into the debate with Aunt. I got a chance to speak to Aunt yesterday, you know what I'm saying, asking him a couple questions just to, you know, just to get a little peek in the interest of what, you know, what he got to bring for you. And, you know, I was just asking him simple questions from somebody who doesn't know everything or know a lot about the subject. So right. I was just that being real, you know, hey, real humble, just, you know, asking him a few questions. And, you know, a point that he made was you know how is the meta nature not deciphered if we call it meta nature or you know Farrell's wearing the unk symbol how you know it's the unk symbol let me cut you off right there yeah but you that's know this, this is the rebuttal that's you know retired. what I'm saying so I'm that's like, the rebuttal don't and, even and come. he told me you know and I'm like well you know I don't have the information to combat that so that's why we need the debate for the 18 so because I'm like you know only Farrell can answer that the best let way me answer that right now all right if that's the rebuttal don't even come <laughs> that's five grade that's fifth grade shit okay that's like me saying if you don't like black, why you got black on your boxers? Nigga, because I don't need to wear some gloves. <laughs> what the fuck? You act like I made them motherfuckers. Okay. You gonna say, if you, if you if the meta nature ain't been the cyber, why you saying, um? Bitch, that's the question I'm asking. Okay. Why is we saying? Okay. So, okay. my point is, see, that's not an intelligent Because they feeling like you throwing all the shit that so-called people done. I am throwing it in the guy. Big dub. I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm throwing it in the guy. All the elders who done went to Egypt. Who no, done... ain't no elders went to Egypt and did a damn thing. Okay. See, you went to Egypt and you saw. Let me tell you something, right? Okay, break it down. You want to go to Egypt uh -huh. and you want to be accredited for saying, I went to Egypt and did this. Nigga, you can't even pass the border, them crackers got. When you go to Egypt, you're on tour. You know what tour is? Don't go outside your rope. 
You go outside the road, you got your ass to be in jail in Egypt. So what kind of study did you do? Mm. You see what them crackers wanted you to see. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen no real shit, nigga. Okay. Tell them, tell them, okay. Have you ever been in King Tut's tomb? No, the fuck you have not. I feel you. Nigga, you seen what they told? It's like a museum. I feel you. I feel you. you seen what the fuck they put on display? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give you an example. The British Museum has over 14 million artifacts from Egypt alone. They only got 100,000 on display. Yeah. So what the fuck you studying? Now yeah. what they got? That's you true. ain't got what they got. So shut your ass up. Mm. What they hiding is what we need to see. Until you see it, stop acting like you done seen this shit already. Mm -hmm. You learned the meta nature. Nigga, we saying meta nature with English words. So that motherfucker keeps saying, while you're, well, while you're in that chain, been deciding, why you saying, oh, nigga, you tell me. I didn't create the shit. I'm questioning it. Mm -hmm. You questioning me about the shit I'm questioning, when really, if you just take two seconds, you will come on my side and help me question the shit. Mm -hmm. That's what the fuck I'm saying. So if that's your response, you, nigga, you in deep water. And I'm shark. I'm feral shark. So that, I was feral Kruger. Now I'm feral shark right now. I mean, Pharrell Kruger again on the 18. I've seen you say uh, from videos I've watched that you have tried to, you know, go into it. You didn't, you're not just, you know, ignorantly coming out like, yo, this shit ain't you tried to decipher it yourself. You went into, you know what I'm saying? When did you realize, like, yo, this shit has never been deciphered? Like, what the <laughs> I time? tried it. Okay, okay. See, it's times. You know what it is? Let me give you an example. You ever be in class, in math class specifically, and you do the work and you get 100? And then the teacher be like, do the show the work this way. Mm -hmm. But you're like, hold on, I found the truth though. Like, I don't want to do it your way, but yeah, yeah, your yeah. way is wrong. Yeah. I'm getting the answer right. Yeah. And they get you get in trouble because yeah. you're not doing it their way. Yeah, yeah, That's one of these instances. Okay. These niggas are saying, read it our way. Nigga, your way is wrong. Nigga, I read it your way. Bitch, I'm still getting 100. Listen, the European taught them everything they know okay. about the meta Okay. Period. Nobody, I don't care who you're talking about, elders. Middle middle age, my age, mm -hmm. nobody today is speaking at Meta Nature that does not have a European at the foot of their vernacular. Okay. Period. Period. That's like you speaking Arabic and trying to not get the, Arab, the Arabs their credit. Mm. Speaking Chinese. I'm, I'm going to hit you with this one though, Farrell. What is the oldest language then? Telepathy. Actually, colors. See? Okay. This is how, this how, this okay. how enslaved <laughs> niggas is. When we say language, <laughs> A nigga automatically go to vernacular. To, to words, yeah, yeah. yeah. All these Man. niggas know you ask them, ask another day, they gonna say Aramaic, not yeah, Arabic, yeah, Aramaic. Yeah. You know how young Aramaic is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, when we say old, it's was, body language, verbal language, all different types of language. So, yeah, it's like, what are you talking about? So, when we say the oldest form of communication, symbolic language. When we say the oldest form of communication, how dare you go to some shit that's 2,000 years old? I feel you. What was the nigga saying when dinosaurs were saying? That's, that's, that's real. So, we dealing with an immature, fake, conscious person. Mm. If any, see, people is conscious. To their spectrum of time. Some niggas only conscious. Of some niggas can't go beyond Marcus Garvey. Okay. Some niggas can't go beyond Nat Turner. Some niggas can't go beyond Christopher Columbus. Some niggas can't go beyond Egypt. Okay. And that's when you, when you be see to be become a slave is to be dependent. If you're dependent upon the Egyptians' interpretation of Egypt, let alone Egypt itself, and you can't find yourself existing before Egypt, nigga, you a slave. You a slave to your own greatness with your foolish ass. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, because I'm here to set the clock back to its proper time. So. Let me let me reword that question then. Um, what is the oldest written language? If we can go to that, the oldest written language where people start actually writing down and understand words. Because if we speak in English now, and English comes from something else, you know what I'm saying? What is the what you know came before that? But what was the ones people started? Okay, now we're writing. People could read this book, and people could understand. You know, if it's not just symbols, uh, if it actually, like, yeah, like language. Actually, I would have written. to say. There's multiple answers to that. Okay. I'm gonna give you a couple. All right. The old and written language may not be true. It just may be what you have. Okay. Because they got some shit in the Vatican basement that okay. we ain't never seen. Okay. So they gonna tell you what they want you to know is the old shit. We don't know what the fuck they got. Okay. Niggas gonna even run a red light. Let them. Niggas scared to run a red light, let alone go in the woods and really find some shit. Yeah, so you don't yeah, know what yeah. these crackers have found. These motherfuckers are scuba diving on submarines. They find yeah, shit yeah. every fucking day. They're talking about sending families to Mars. So. Exactly. So you don't know what <laughs> historical shit of our people have found. But according to what they present, mm -hmm. most people will say Egypt. But Egypt is not a language the way people think of. It's not a word system. It's not a vernacular or a grammatical system. Okay. It's an ideographic system, which I, which is basically pictures that th depict or convey a mental message. So most people will go to Egypt. I don't subscribe to nothing because I know I'm ancient. 
I know my origins. Mm -hmm. I know that my shit's so old, I can't never know it. That's how old it is. And with that being said, the oldest language ever written has yet to even be discovered by me personally. I know that a cracker got it somewhere in a boat with 300 military niggas guarding it, if I ever come for it. So my, my language, or my form of communication, when it, did, when, it, when it derives to what was written, I'll never know in okay. this lifetime. Okay. I only can know what they allow me to know. So just like everybody else, I gotta say Egypt. But I don't wanna say Egypt. Okay. But if that's the only the answer, that's so, the only answer. You, know what I'm you could just say Egypt was one of the first that, I mean the oldest language that they've discovered so far. That yeah, they will let you know. If you want to, because lots of people act like they don't know about Lost City of Atlantis. Yeah. They act like they don't know about the land of Lemuria. Yeah, and then, uh, so I don't understand what Sumerian they scripts is that, you know? No, the Sumerian scripts is now older than Egypt. Okay, that's okay. younger than Egypt. Okay, that's, that's, okay. that's white supremacy infiltrating consciousness. Kind of infrastructure. Trying to take you out of see the See, the Muslims want to take you to Arabia. Mecca. Mm -hmm. The Christians want to, and the fucking Hebrews want to take you to Israel. Israel yeah. The Nuwabians and everybody else want to take you to Samaria. But all Samaria. of those are, yeah, mm -hmm. all of those are racist institutions created by the Europeans in order to take your mind off of Africa. Mm -hmm. Period. See, Marcus Garvey told everybody to go to Africa, and it's funny how after they kicked Marcus Garvey out, everybody after him told everybody to go somewhere other than Africa. Mm -hmm. But that's just what I see. Everybody else don't see it that way. They think that they shit is right and exact. So with that being said, uh. You know, masonry and people who was involved in masonry is a powerful thing. And I think if your leader is involved in masonry, he should be questioned. Because mm -hmm. if, he's, if, if he's telling you to come out of Africa, I don't understand what the fuck you doing. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why he's teaching the people. But let's get, let me get back on task. So that being said, uh, the oldest written language to me, I would have to by default say what everybody else say, which is Egypt. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a, I don't even, I wouldn't even answer that. I would say we'll find out what we find. Okay, okay, okay. So we still in a search for the oldest language. Yeah, because of people be talking shit like, you know, new things, like listen, people don't understand this planet is alive. When you five years old, is you the same height as you are when you 10? No. Oh, no. When you 15, you the same height you was when you five? No. When you 30, is you the same height? No. Do you look the same? Is your weight the same? No. no. The planet fucking, uh, every 25 million years approximately, land masses shift. Like for example, this is America to us. A hundred million years from now, this shit gonna be covered with water, and what was covered with water is gonna be exposed. Mm -hmm. So whoever was living there is gonna be a whole new thing. Mm -hmm. So our grandkids That's gonna real. be like, they gonna be looking at us like we Atlantis. And motherfuckers gonna be arguing like Pharaoh did exist, and people gonna be saying, no he didn't. Mm -hmm. And motherfuckers gonna be scuba diving and finding this motherfucking camera, yeah, and finding yeah. this room, and finding this stuff. Yeah. The same way we finding they shit. So, mm -hmm. the, you, so the earth just shifts what it wants to expose you at the time. Mm -hmm. So everything that's underwater now will be resurfaced. And when it does, we'll see everything that's under there. And I guarantee you it's older than us because it's under there already. Mm -hmm. And we up here talking, creating shit that's already created. So that's why I don't, so I keep my mind in tune with my planet, mm -hmm. you know? We gotta stop saying we conscious and then not being conscious. How you gonna sit here and say Egypt is the oldest language? Don't you know they got underwater cities? Is you yeah. out your motherfucking mind? Mm -hmm. You don't know what the fuck our ancestors was dealing with. 20 million years ago. That shit, that part of land ain't even in existence no more. So all you can, with the mature thing would be to say is, while we had a chance 10,000 years ago, we created a civilization called Egypt that will go down in history. But let's stop acting like that's the only shit we ever had. Mm. Shit we got shit, you, shit that's submerged mm. in water. Greater than Egypt, underwater pyramids. Pyramids in Alaska. Yeah. Who built those? And I, believe no, my I, I think he showed the seventy or sixty-five million year old pyramid. Yeah, they found a six, and they found. I, I, I right. look it up. I and they the found picture. a sixty million year old nuclear reactor. Man. Who the fuck was playing with technology sixty million? But don't nobody want to talk about that. You will keep saying Egypt, 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 Egypt. They got pyramids in Alaska under the ground that's purifying water. Who built that? So why niggas keep acting like Egypt, Egypt, Egypt? Don't you know that motherfucking the Sudan got more pyramids than Egypt itself? Yeah. Now we not shit no Egypt, but let's be mature. Yeah, There's yeah, pyramids around the world. Who built the pyramids in China? Who built the pyramids underwater in the Bermuda for the Bermuda Triangle? There's pyramids all around this world. Aztec pyramids, Mayan pyramids, all mm -hmm. them goddamn pyramids mm -hmm. in South America. Y'all niggas keep acting like it's old. That's like we said. Pyramids they found on Mars. Yeah, you keep acting like it's only a stop sign on your fucking street. Nigga, you ain't got the only stop sign on the block. Yeah. Stop signs everywhere. Mm -hmm. We want to get to the root of who's building the stop sign. So we're talking about pyramids. You know, in Egypt, black people, we keep, we keep enslaving ourselves to one thing. We got to become quantum beings again. Mm -hmm. The, the one, one location on the planet ain't just our location, everywhere on the planet. If I go to China right now, that's my shit. I don't fuck about no, no, no uh, senator of China. Nigga, you know my ancestors was here first, and you know it, nigga. Mm -hmm. Fuck about no Korean military. You know when you look me in my eyes, you know, nigga, <laughs> this my shit. You just got enough, too much military, I can't take it back. But you know it's my shit. 
It's like when you go to school, they jump you, take your shoes. Nigga, you know none of my shoes you got on. Yeah. I can't beat y'all and get them back. I got the force to yeah, get but you know, when I, you know when my uncles come home, nigga, we gonna get my shoes back. Nigga, I'm just waiting for them to get all the work. So that being said, man, this, we, this is the time then, black people. This is why they say the answer is back. Everybody around the world know they on our day in our shit. Yo, Farrell, you get attacked a lot, right, in the sense of people saying you're pseudo. Me, I resonate with a lot of things you say because, you know, when I got to the information, I really was into all of that. You know what I'm saying? Everything, right. because it's like, once you realize anything is possible, it's like, what the hell? You can't limit yourself anymore. Anything is possible. So you gotta always look. People always say pseudo or this, that, and the third. And you know what I'm saying? And then I've come across a lot of information that you've shown and put out. And I'm like, okay, if it's pseudo or if it's fake, like, you know what I mean? Like, Rebut it. Like, show me, you know, other things that are showing that this ain't real or, you know what I mean? But what, why do you think they always, they, people don't want to get into that? Like, because this seems like it, 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 it keeps us from elevating in a sense. That's, that's, a what, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to get into these conversations because that's conversations that's happening around the world. Putin's talking about it. You just showed today, uh, Canada, I believe, uh, yeah, Prime, Prime Minister. Minister. The shorty who got killed talking about that it. That was so, You know, uh, all of these dudes, uh, William Cooper, all of these people who done talked about this shit in the military, high ranks, all that. But for some reason, it's like the conscious community don't want to get into that because I don't know, you know, they say pseudo or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What do you I'll tell you exactly what that? it is. Yeah. First of all, Unk created that pseudo shit <laughs> and wanted to attempt to slander me with his hating ass. <laughs> but with that being said, uh, same motherfuckers talking about I'm pseudo stealing my shit and stealing my, stealing my, stealing my, stealing my, stealing my knowledge. And I ain't gonna say mine because I learned it from somewhere. Nice. But I'm just saying, you yeah. same motherfuckers saying pseudo in the videos going verbatim word for word with my shit and you know who you are. <laughs> but that being said, you know, niggas is hating. But outside of that, when we're dealing with the information, it's about money. It ain't about, it's about money. See, if I'm a Hebrew, and this is what I teach, and this is how I eat, I can't have young Pharaoh talking about the Bible based off astrology. Okay. It's a rap okay. for my shit. It's a rap. Gonna so I'm going to slander him and try to kill him, kill his pride, kill his spirit, before he can do that. But it don't, the truth, it don't happen, nigga. It don't happen. <laughs> and I'm just using the Hebrews. Like I said, if I'm a Muslim, I can't have young Pharaoh talking about the pre-Islamic Islam period where Allah was Allah with the 18, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? Which allegedly, according to people who translate the matter, the 18 is known the female pres female uh, premise. I can't have people talking about how the uh, Muslims seek refuge within the Ruhum of Allah and Ruhum re means the womb. I can't, they can't have me talking about mm -hmm. how Allah is really a female deity. Mm -hmm. They can't have me talking about General Berg actually allegedly trained Muhammad for the Vatican and that the Quran is an extension of the motherfucking a Christian Bible mm -hmm. in order to propagate Christianity on people who are unaccepting so they just translate it into that language and infiltrate them So they don't want me talking about that how the, how the Quran is a part of Catholicism Okay, so you think it's a money thing that it is a money thing about the real it is, Just meta that shit is a money thing too okay. Because if all this shit was free you wouldn't have no problems with me exposing it But the fact that you teach this shit and you eat off this teaching you all all everybody gonna try to slander me To get the people to say he's not right because if I'm right that mean your whole shit crumble See, and that's what makes him feel powerful because I don't teach or charge nobody to teach them info. I give it for free. Mm -hmm. Go do what you gotta do. I'm happy doing my little lecture. I'm happy doing my little YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, I'm growing big and I realize that yeah. and I don't want to accept it because I don't like the celebrity shit. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. But that's what makes me different. I'm not telling nobody, give me $100 a month to learn this science. No, here go the science. Do what you do. Yeah. So you got people that are saying that. But that. that's what you get because the ancestors <laughs> never told you to do that. The ancestors wasn't in Egypt telling the motherfuckers you can't come in here unless you got $20. You can't learn this unless you got this. Mm -hmm. Only thing you had to do was be righteous. So motherfuckers, you talking about the scales of my yacht, always running their fucking mouth about my yacht. But why? And I'm not saying don't make a living. That's not what I'm saying. I understand. If we within the matrix. But what I'm saying is you stop fighting the white man and became comfortable in his system yeah. and actually used your information to sustain yourself when you should have used your information to keep growing yourself and your people. Mm. So now that you became stagnant like water, and I'm here refreshing the water, you got a problem with me because I'm actually cleaning up the dirt that you allowed to corrode your tank. So what it is with Young Pharaoh is it's about money, it's about organizations, and it's about ego, man. Because if it was about love and truth, would nobody have a problem being correct? You think I ain't never got corrected my whole life? You think I've been living these 23 years without somebody saying, Pharaoh, you wrong? Shit, mm. I'm wrong, all right. And I mean, it's times when I be wrong, and I know I'm wrong, and I just say, fuck it. I know I'm wrong, nigga. I'm, I'm robbing you, nigga. I know I'm wrong. Give me okay, that chance. Okay, yeah, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? 
But there's other times I've been like, you know what, let me humble myself down. Mm. Let me apologize. This is one of them times where elders need to humble, humble themselves down. But it's hard to be humble when you in your ego. You know what I'm saying? So, all I can say is, uh, hopefully white supremacy is completely destroyed by the time I get to that age. But if it's not, I'm going to show you how you're supposed to deal with youth. So you think the conscious community are really scared to talk about extraterrestrials and all that really because of that? Because that's kind of whack, you know what I'm saying? But well, you say you think the con conscious community is like the church. Yeah. Okay. And they do what's popping at the time. And I'm not shitting on everybody, but I'm shitting on mostly everybody. <laughs> because uh, the point I'm trying to make is you got brothers like Phil Valentine. Genius. Yeah. You would never get another Phil Valentine put, put for, me, two, put me probably on for 100,000 years. Shit. Phil put me on. Phil Valentine say shit about aliens. But nobody attacked them how they attacked me. Yeah. But they didn't they, but they never said nothing at all. See the point I'm trying to make is this. You will promote a Hebrew lecture. You will promote a, a Islam lecture. Why you ain't go promote no how you ain't go promote Phil Valentine? And that's that's who I that's why I be like, yo, I how don't you know why the more dudes ain't yeah, why in the situation. How you ain't go promote Joe Pooh? You know that's what I'm crazy. Saying? So this shit is just like the industry, dude. All the real rappers stay like Jada Kiss and Deep. Fucking style tree, they never get where everybody else get. Why is people like Phil Valentine not where he supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Because that's not who the motherfuckers who run this kind of community shit or have the platforms. That's not who they push. They don't push real shit. And you got somebody like me who come through a real shit, and you see they try to attack me. But luckily, I was a I'm a fire breathing dragon, and they just got themselves ended for all those who did oppose me. You oppose the Pharaoh, you go into the ashes. So, with that being said, getting back on point, man, this shit is like church. It ain't about if this shit is wrong or right. It's about is it popping. Don't come to church not dressed up in a suit. We're going to look at you like you stink. Even though God said, allegedly said, come as you are, mm -hmm. nigga, we saying no. Same thing with this conscious community. Teach the truth as long as it's the truth. But now, now the truth ain't even enough no more. Are you in with the, or are you in with the, uh, with the crowd? Is you wearing shit now? Is you drinking? Is you eating with everybody eating? This shit that became a fucking social social event. Mm -hmm. And Young Pharaoh breaks all the rules. Mm -hmm. That's why I deem myself CCB, Conscious Community Bad Guy, CMW, <laughs> Conscious Community Most Wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you know I'm gonna fuck about them fun funky ass rules. I'm teaching the people, and I'm gonna teach them how to bust your ass while I'm not present. So, you know, like I said, man, this shit became like the church. People got for 30, 40, 50, comfortable being that pastor, that dude that everybody look up to and nobody question, and I come in there and crack your goddamn head, and you want to turn the congregation on me. Mm. But it's okay. Um, you know, staying on the alien topic, right? Like, me, from my research and from what I've seen, you know, I'm not going to act like I dug super deep in, but from as deep as I've went in, you know, reading the David Icke books and even listening to your information, Phil Valentine, Dr. Double Blair, even Dr. York, you know what I'm saying? Listening to all of these different people and, you know, look, looking at William Coopers and all the people who's talked about this uh, information when it comes to aliens. They always put them as, you know, the controllers of humanity through like, you know, through people, shapeshifters and things like that. So my question I wanted to ask you is if the reptilians or certain entities are controlling, you know, the people who are in power. Why do we focus so much on white people and not focus on the people who's controlling them to do these acts? If that's the situation. That's what I said. You know what I'm saying? They don't worry, they gonna take that banging on the white man, banging. But it's like, that nigga ain't even the nigga who in charge. That's right. So it's like, why aren't we like, you know what I'm saying? That, but you know why we don't? Because we don't see ourselves as the aliens too. Okay. See, and what I mean by, let me put this in the proper perspective, but I want, that's what I said. You niggas focused on the white man, that's the least of your motherfucking problems. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's just the white a man gonna use the weapon, he ain't the creator of the weapon. Okay? You know so let's talk so about he it. weak as fuck compared to who's controlling them. The problem is this. You your enemy only becomes your equal. Your enemy becomes your equal. You feel me? If you trash, when you play football, your 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 opponent gonna be trash. That's the difference between <laughs> professional sports and backyard sports. So when we dealing with black power and the black liberation. Until you access a certain level of your quantum self, your enemy won't be that. Some of these niggas still think that they black street niggas. Mm -hmm. So the furthest that they see is police brutality. Mm -hmm. They can't see interdimensional entities because they don't see themselves as a light being. Mm -hmm. So nigga, you would never even see your real enemy because you don't see your real self. So we dealing with classification. Everything got ranked. Nigga, lightweight fight lightweight. These niggas still lightweight with the info. Until yeah, you get to a heavyweight, you would never know. Yeah. You still talking about police brutality. The fuck is wrong with you? Ain't no such thing as police brutality. We too deep. 
If we wanna stop police brutality, we can stop that shit tonight. Mm -hmm. Grab him, bust him in his fucking head, go get your man, we gonna bust his head too. Police brutality saw. Mm -hmm. No, nigga, police brutality exists to you. Mm -hmm. Police put their hands on young Pharaoh, you're going on your neck and your badge going too. That's how I'm rocking. I feel you. So, with police brutality, we need to be dealing with who the fuck built the sermon machine. See, yeah. niggas be talking about, listen to exactly. this. Exactly. The mind of the motherfucker who built the sermon machine cannot be a European. The European has stolen everything that he's uh -huh. ever had, uh -huh. ever. So uh -huh. when did this nigga say, that's like this, if you, you in school, imagination for if you shit. in school, right? <laughs> if you in school uh -huh. and I don't study, I'm cheating off your test, right? Mm -hmm. So if I ever come to school and I get a 100 on the test, where did I get the knowledge from? Oh, yeah. If I never knew, you know I don't know. I've been cheating off your shit all year. Mm -hmm. The European been cheating off our goddamn test for six thousand years. I assume that you're now this motherfucker building an a interdimensional yeah, machine yeah. that can manipulate yeah. weather from the North Pole. You can only assume that he's cheating again. Who the fuck he still? Listen, <laughs> he couldn't have stole that because we don't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck you build a sewing machine? Niggas ain't got that. Yeah, that's true. We can show everywhere through history. The Greeks stole the twelve gods of Olympus <laughs> from the goddamn zodiac sign. Uh -huh. From they got that from the Egyptian gods. Uh -huh. We can confirm that. Okay. Europeans, plastic surgery, butt surgery, big lips stole that from our, from our black woman's image. Uh -huh. We can confirm that. Uh -huh. All these sci-fi movies and shit stole that from us. Sewing machine. I'm flipping the nigga, the pages in the nigga book. We ain't never had one of those. Okay. So where the fuck you get that? Mm -hmm. The idea to take two photons, crash them together, make them break apart, and extract antimatter in order to bring spirits from the nether realm. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck? What? That's not white. That's not white people. That ain't them alone. So when we talking about even Illuminati, it's in your face. Mm -hmm. Who don't know the Illuminati is 13 world bloodline families? Yeah. When you tra trace the bloodline, it's extraterrestrial, it's foreign to this planet. Mm -hmm. And people don't deal with, like they found a, a, a skull 900 years ago, not even a thousand years ago in Mexico called the Star Child Skull. It was a skull of a baby that did only match one haplogroup out of all haplogroups. So it's approximately 187,000, I mean 187,000. When you say haplogroup, haplogroup, what is a haplogroup? A haplogroup is how many genetic sequences you can have on this planet Earth if you have a child. Okay. So okay. let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. If a Chinese man and a black woman have a child, that might be haplogroup A. If a Chinese man and a Chinese woman have one, that might be B. If so a Chinese different man. variations. Right. How many different people on this planet could create different genetic outcomes? I got you. I got so you. out of all the people on the planet Earth, there's approximately 187 haplogroups. The motherfucking, yeah. the DNA on this child only match one. And who do you think that one is? Us, mm -hmm. African. Mm -hmm. The rest of the DNA is foreign to this planet. But the, re the reason that this makes it important is it's the skull of a child, which means it got parents. Which means if it got parents, they got fucking parents. Mm -hmm. Which means if that child, parents, got parents, god damn it, it's a community. Yep, yep. So what the fuck is y'all talking about? Mm -hmm. what, the, what does niggas get under don't understand? Mm -hmm. And then when we dealing with the conscious community, why you got their own conscious community? It's called the scientific community. But they shit is international. So motherfucker talk shit about me for holding an extraterrestrial conference. Why do we hold extra, oh, extraterrestrial hey. conference? Yeah, thousand like dollars a ticket. A thousand dollars a ticket. Yeah. You ain't getting in unless you drop a stack. Yeah. Let alone you got to fly to the bitch. Yeah. And you don't know what they showing in that motherfucker. Yeah. So why are we not dealing with what they dealing with? This white niggas is always behind because they always talking about yesterday shit. Mm -hmm. White people was in a laboratory right now working around the clock mm -hmm. to create shit that release on the public, uh, air, airborne viruses, neurological toxins, shit to put in the water. Yeah. What the fuck they gonna put on TV? And niggas are still talking about mm -hmm. motherfucking Malcolm X. We talking about reparation, they talking about leaving the planet. So it's like, you know. <laughs> Nigga, what reparations, bitch? <laughs> what reparations? That's still <laughs> stupid to me. Yeah. All, this is the only stupid, greedy <laughs> motherfucker that I've heard. That's like if somebody snatch your chain. <laughs> and you telling the jury, man, we want reparations, we want a lot of jewelry now. Mm -hmm. Bitch, you know, life is way greater than fictitious money. Mm -hmm. We don't want reparations, we want you off our shit. Mm -hmm. See, niggas is asking for everything the white man, the white man got you fighting hard for something that he's willing to give you. You think the white man won't, you, let's, let's be serious. You think, it, you, let's be serious here. You think the white man won't pay niggas? Yeah. All niggas gonna do is spend joy, buy J's. Uh -huh. Cadillac's gonna be at an all-time mm -hmm. high. Mm -hmm. They should have the, the skill where black people got all their reparations. They all just buying did. trucks with uh, Newport trucks. Exactly. All <laughs> the white man doing is keeping your focus on something that you don't really want. Why are we not asking for our own military? Why are we not asking for our own courts? Why are we not asking for our own laws? Nigga, but according to genetics, all non Africans are 96% human beings, 4% Neanderthal. Mm -hmm. So we can genetically prove that we were here first. So why can't we use genetics to prove that we deserve to have our own court system to govern ourselves because we are the first and those that came after us have no authority to tell us what to do on our fucking planet? Why are we not asking for that? 
Cause you some greedy, stupid, egotistical bitches, and you want reparations because you want to. That's right. <laughs> and foolish shit. And it's the sheep leading the sheep. Mm -hmm. And you got these niggas calling themselves leaders. Can't make no moves at the UN. Can't make no no moves on their block. Niggas talking about they leaders in the black community. Bring your ass to Buffalo and try to tell the nigga to do what do something. See what they see what see what they do. Um, when you look at the youth. They are already open to that shit. They're like, yeah, aliens exist, da, da, da. but it's like certain like other people, older people sometimes, like you try to talk to them about that, and it's like they're looking at you like, come back to reality. Like this is come back to the real world. And I'm like, yo, come on, my this nigga. is the real world. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, man. <laughs> why do you think they so caught up? In, if like, the United States government can admit the existence of extraterrestrials, what the fuck? Excuse me, what the fuck is your problem? Mm. See, let's say Phil Valentine didn't exist. Let's say I didn't exist. Let's say nobody exists. Let's say you ain't never seen the pyramid. Mm -hmm. Let's say you just came out of time machine today. Mm -hmm. And you said, damn, what is this government talking about? Eric Snowden is one of the trees. Admitted extraterrestrials exist. Mm -hmm. Out of the 32,000 emails Hillary Clinton got deleted. Admitted that extraterrestrials exist. Wow. Trisha Chamberson, who was the head of NASA, just about a month and a half ago, Admitted that extraterrestrials exist. Damn. And when they asked her why why y'all didn't tell the American public, she said we made so many movies and cartoons and shit about it, we thought y'all knew. They got a show out right now called People Little Planet Earth, and it's about a black psychiatrist, I believe he's a psychiatrist, if I'm not mistaken, interviewing people about their experiences with aliens, and they talk about reptilians. They say the word reptilian, all of that. And this lady said there was a man in my house who told me he was a reptilian. And when you see the scene, the nigga got a green face like a reptile. And he mm -hmm. tell the lady, don't get scared, mm -hmm. and he be talking to her. They showing you! Yeah, what the fuck? See, and if niggas really study the history of this country, you know that in 1798, they passed a law called the Alien and Sedition Act. And what this act was, was they said we can prosecute all editors and publishers for treason if they tell any truths not deemed approved by the, by the American government to the American public. So this is why people tell you the truth in the form of a movie, because if they actually made a movie based on facts, they would go to jail. So now what they did was they turned fact into science fiction. Mm. But this is actual science. So it's actual all games, science. Basically. I'm in school for animation graphic design. Okay. You can't create nothing that you can't prove would actually be able to operate. Yeah. Because when you build a fan base, your fans will actually want to have to believe that reality. So when you see Star Wars and you see a ship, if you believe that they can't really make that ship, you have to fucking mind. Yeah. Frank Lucas himself already told you. He's the creator of Star Wars. He said anything you see in this movie. You mean George Lucas? Yeah, George Lucas, my bad. I said Frank, my mind is way yeah. off. George Lucas, <laughs> he already said in his uh in his interview, and he created Star Wars. 100%, he said 100% of what I got came from Egypt and Africa. He was inspired by Egypt. That's crazy. So, not just that, he already said, whatever you see in my movie, you 50 years behind. You 50 years behind. Yeah. So when niggas finally was over Old ships. Listen, listen. <laughs> you, they showing you what they would allow you to have a conscious connection to. Okay. So imagine the shit you don't know. Mm -hmm. See, if the white man sees like this, you gonna feed the motherfucker scraps, you gonna give him what you don't wanna eat. You gonna eat the pizza and give a nigga the crust. All this shit you seeing in these movies, Transformers, nigga, that's the crust. They already talking about building an intergalactic army. Why would you need a fucking intergalactic military? What do you got plans on defending? They already, po they already got treaties on the moon, stating laws that this is our property, and if any, if any outside entities come, they can go to war. What the fuck is the United States government preparing to go to war for if it's not supposed to be nothing out there? So I got a question for, for everybody that, that want to be an asshole. My guy just brought me a telescope for my birthday, which I'm very uh, much in love and appreciation for. Now we use this telescope, we can actually see the moon, like see the motherfucker, not no five, we can see like if some shit ran across, if some shit ran across the moon, <laughs> I can see it, bro. I got a high power joint. Yes. Okay. Now, imagine what motherfuckers got with trillion dollar telescopes. They probably on the motherfucker. <laughs> the motherfuckers probably see the rocks shake when the wind yeah, blows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you think white people ain't watching shit on other planets, they probably watching niggas walk around other planets. Uh, Norman Begum, mm -hmm. sci uh, scientist for NASA for 12 years, stated he's seen motherfuckers that was black get off a spaceship on Saturn. Okay? And when a white lady asked him, were they, were they our color? He said, no, they were black. He let her know. So now, why would I believe this? Because I can see the moon with my, with my shit. Mm -hmm. And my shit ain't over a stack. Yeah, yeah. They got trillion dollar that telescopes. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Oh, they can see yeah. what's on Saturn. So niggas need to open their minds the fuck up. How can they take pictures of galaxies and 
all of that shit if you know like how do we even like when we look at these who books told we, you how the hell did you get that picture that's who, what i be thinking is that who told you <laughs> that this star was like years away yeah who told you that you know what i'm saying who told you that how do you know shit that's not just common sense See, common sense is one aspect of information. That's spiritual. Mm -hmm. Science is the detail of common sense. Mm -hmm. Common sense is, nigga, that's how that you touch it. Yeah, okay. Science is, nigga, that's this amount of degrees. Mm -hmm. Niggas want to cause this effect. Okay. Feel me? Yeah. So science is the study of your common sense. Okay. So common sense is stars create light. Science is, nigga, that light travels at 186,000 mm -hmm. miles. Who the fuck told you that? See? That's real. See, certain shit you come out, though, everything is in you. But who taught you how to study it? Hmm. Who the fuck told the who the fuck taught the motherfucker about biology in detail? Who said this is a vertebrae nerve? This is a vertebrae body. You got and broke it down. This cell is this. This cell is this. Who the fuck told you how much an atom weigh? Hmm. How you know how much an atom weigh? You ever yeah. grabbed the atom? Yeah. So how the fuck you know how much it weigh? Some high powered shit. Who's giving it to him? So niggas need to open their mind. Information yeah, where you getting that from? See, everything can't be read in no book, man. You gotta just be real. Who the fuck told white people to take two fucking photons of light, pick them 70 miles apart, bring them together at 186,000 miles per second and crash them and at a specific point in time, snatch a fucking nano, nano size piece of antimatter out and in doing so, you actually be able to bring a demon into this dimension. Who told them that? That's not shit you just make up. Diabolical shit is I'm about to shoot up a school. I'm about to and lynch me a nigger. Not I'm about to take spectrums of light and pull out souls. Nigga, that's yeah. over the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's beyond terrible. That's next level shit. Nigga, that's, that's, I don't even have a name for that. Yeah. That's some intergalactic, nigga, we need some, that's some intergalactic terrorist right. shit. So we need, these are, I think, you know, the more conversations that the conscious community needs to have, you know, me doing this platform, man, just watching you guys and growing and learning and everything like that and wanting to be involved. I'm like, yo, these are the conversations that I think are mostly important, you know what I'm saying? They're not even gonna have these. And I, I would just well, I'm gonna be sitting here talking to a lot of brothers, so you know I'm gonna ask the questions and try to create the conversations myself. They, you can't. They're not gonna. I'm the only reason I'm talking about the conscious community as a whole is because that's not what it's founded upon. Okay. You can't ask somebody to change what makes what gives them power. That's like telling the NFL right now. I think y'all need to bring back hard hits and let people smack each other. No, because nigga, we changed the rules already. We, you know? I got you. So when it comes to, to the to the conscious community, the conscious community is not about quantum understanding. It is a scholarly community. It's about mm -hmm. historical research. Okay. See, I'm not taking nothing from okay. that. Okay. Yeah, but you can't. That's what I'm saying. This is what I'm for. I got you. I I'm, got the, you. I'm the beyond. I got I'm you. the buzz like I got you. I'm not, see, niggas in the conscious community gonna give you a lecture on the OMAX. I'm gonna come give you spirit science introduction to your higher self. Two totally different frequencies. I got you. So, that's what I'm saying. You can't ask somebody to do something that's out there. Like I tell people, don't ask me to. People give me requests all the time. You should do a, a lecture on the Aztec. Nigga, no. There's people who do that. I give you a lecture on the I got you. Business. I got you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, before we get out of here, Farrell, I just wanted to, you know, because I know you said you're going to be back in New York on the 25th? 26th. 26th, yeah, we definitely got to link up again. Let the people know, you know, what you're going to be doing down there and, uh, you know, where they could come to find the tickets and check you out and everything. Right, I believe the name of it is uh, Nicholas, what is it, Nicholas, Nicholas Brooklyn? Uh -huh. Yeah, Nicholas Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bookstore, yeah. uh, November 26th. I'm also oh, live yeah, streaming yeah. it, so you can get the tickets on Eventbrite, Young Pharrell, Genetic Reincarnation. Man, the lecture is exactly what it is, man. I'm going to show you. I don't just do run my mouth. I'm going to show you step by step how black people reincarnate genetically, not just physically, but but emotionally and mentally. How your memories are actually passed down through your DNA all 100% of your life. Everything that you experience gets stored in your DNA. Your DNA is a data bank. Your RNA is your individual bank account. And your experiences is like each dollar that you deposit to your bank account. Every second in your life, you are having an experience consciously and subconsciously and it's being downloaded and stored into your DNA so that when you have a child, your child already comes out with a pre-encoded understanding of what it must go through and so the body manifests itself in a manner to have the most positive experience for those expectations. So with that being said, genetic reincarnation is actually how the ancestors come back through you. If you get beat the fuck up a lot, when you have a child, your child come back with a body that's prone for fighting. If you live in a certain a certain atmosphere where the density level is, let's say, thin, you'll come back when you have a certain lung capacity where you can take in a certain amount of oxygen. Your body already knows how to upgrade itself. So when we talk about genetic reincarnation, the ancestors is back. The ancestors never left. You are everything that they were, plus the upgraded version to be better than they were. So when we're talking about everything in the universe changes, or there's no such thing as stagnation. The only thing that's stopping black people's greatness is the ego. Your genes are upgraded. Your child came out better than you. 
So you gonna tell your child you think you all that? Well, genetically they are all that. Yeah, Cause they're upgraded. everything you was and more, nigga. They're upgraded, I got. Yeah, it. so all the information you got, they took it and they running in a sense. Exactly. I Just the you. universe is constantly elevating. Why aren't you? You don't hear trees telling motherfuckers. You don't see trees telling seeds. Oh, nigga, you think you growing, nigga? Yes, yeah, nigga, and I'm growing bigger than you. Yeah. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah. So with that being said, also in this lecture, uh. I'm gonna be breaking step by breaking down step by step how the Caucasian was created because I have to be able to show the separation between mm -hmm. us biologically so that I can fully deliver the science of genetic reincarnation and how it only applies to African people. That was dope, man. And uh, where can the people contact you? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Peace, peace, family. Y'all already know. <laughs> I'm Facebook out here. Mm -hmm. I'm blocked for 30 days on my Sandra Bland page right now though because I, I went live at 6.30 in the morning had like 500 people in there viewing and Facebook blocking while I was live Damn. I ain't never seen no shit like That's that That's crazy They was, My man made a joke, it was funny, he said Mark Zuckerberg must have been watching your shit itself and said we gotta block this yeah, one yeah, yeah. But my, uh, my one <laughs> Facebook is Sandra Bland My other Facebook is my Young Feral page My third Facebook is The Black Woman Is God You can also contact me on Instagram at Feral underscore La You can contact me on Snapchat Feral underscore La you can contact me on YouTube, boom, at Feral Wala. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking to book me for a lecture, also I do advisories, I speak to the youth, all of that, you can hit me at theblackhomeandthisguy.com. Now, if you want a lecture or advisory, please, in the subject matter, put it is, put in there what it is that you uh, want, so that it'll be easier for me to identify with your email instead of trying to guess, because I get a lot of mail, not just love mail, hate mail, racist mail, bullshit mail, so I want to be able to get to the I want to be able to focus in on what's important in my email and not the negative shit that come through because this is what comes with being a teacher or a, a, a teacher or somebody that's in the public eye whether I want to be or not you get assholes mm -hmm. so let's filter out the assholes so I can get straight to you nah and uh you think we can get a shout out to Kid Life Production and HipHopIsReal.com that's right damn right you can <laughs> shout, special shout out Special shout out from Young Pharaoh, stamp of approval, bang, mm. to Kia Life and Hip Hop Productions. If you don't know, now you do know. And uh, special shout out to everybody that I'm going to slay on December 18th. Because this, <laughs> this, this is going to be a hell of a memory for you because that's all you're going to motherfucking be is a memory. But with that being said, peace. We feeling the urge, killing the purge Buzzers electric, we feeling the surge Feeling the words, killing the birds with immunity Pillars of unity This is the form of the Voltron This is the age of the Ultron This is the same stage as the Pope bomb This is the sage you can smoke on Copper pound, came on the scene, I was copper down All I was missing was copper crown Summer sixteen, I turned copper brown Look for revenge in the copper town Capping the jersey and copper crown 21 guns to lose jumper sound My power pieces, the crystals be talking The clothes that be talking King County clothing, yeah, king of New York And I'm Christopher Walken, the missiles and bucking From gimmicks, niggas will spill the beans without spilling a Guinness. I won't stop till my neck froze, till my neck gold, till my whole set hold. When I cash checks, bank rolls, no stacks, shit can't fold. Can't trust you, your man told. Sentence the greatest to the hell hole. They throw dirt on my name, but it never stuck like Velcro. Came back clean on them. Glock 9 got the infrared beam on them. I remember I was smoking with a Keisha, game time, I was in the bleachers Now it's fourth quarter 